courthouse here in Yamhill County, McMinnville, where I've just been told if you enter the courtroom, go through this door with cannabis, it's a felony. So I want to get more information about that because uh, I was unaware. Hi, sir. I, I need just a minute. Um, if you could tell me how people would know that they're committing a felony by entering, um, be, because, again, that's a concern. Uh, I don't think the information is readily available where the general public would understand that. With the new legalization... I cannot give out that information. You can't give out the information where the state law exists? I'm just looking for an RSA number or you, a reference. You would, you would have to look that up? You'd have to look it up. Where, where, where would one look it up, though? That's my question. I don't know. I'm not law enforcement. I only know what I'm told working this post when you come through that door. So you're telling me you don't know what the law is, but you've stated the law to me. That's where the confusion. Go to the Oregon state statutes. Like I said, I only know. Okay, what so I the Oregon here. Uh, or uh, .gov, Oregon yes. .gov, or that's all I'm looking for. Oregon .gov. Okay. Any one of the cannabis shops should know the laws. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what made me curious because you you said you can't have it outside the confines of your home, but if that were true, then you could never obtain it. You'd have to travel from a location to your home. And so I said, I know that's not right. See, I've been a cannabis user for 27 years, very active with normal MPP, other organizations, and I'm just unaware that it's a felony. I know it's not allowed, but as far as it being a felony, now, I mean, somebody getting a felony that is just a citizen uh, who was unaware of all the new laws, because they can be quite confusing, we don't want them getting felonies uh, to a lack of knowledge. Okay, well, that's all. Thank you. Put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.